Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another unboxing of another Digimon card game start deck. For this time around, we have the one for Jasmon. So just like the one we had Ragnar uh, for Ragnar Lord Mon, uh, this one is actually the one before. So Ragnar Lord is actually the one after this Jasmon start deck. So ST12, as you can see, um, this is actually the one that I'm the most interested to play with um, because the Jasmon actually kind of looks like an Omnimon design or Omega Mon if you guys are following the Japanese terming um, and of course Jasmon apparently has two pretty ladies <laughs> as the side partners so I think that's one of the main reasons why I'm more attracted to this deck <laughs> and of course the contents of this deck is exactly the same as the Ragnar Lord one um, so 54 cards for deck play then of course two memory gauge cards um, a play sheet and of course the three useless index cards and of course if you guys are collecting all the parallel reprints the Tamer cards are also included within the set itself. So let's break open this box and see the main deck contents. Alright, so let's pull out the contents of the deck itself. So here we have the deck in the middle, and of course, let's pull this out. And then we have the reprinted Tamer cards, um, of course, from the earlier start decks, and of course, there are a few of them within the BT boosters itself. So if you guys want to see what these, the reprinted Tamer cards are, I've already done so um, in the Ragnar Lord start deck unboxing video. So you guys can go and take a look at the final portion of that video if you guys want to really take a look at all the Tamers included in this set. So yes, so just like the Ragnar Lord start decks, most card games out there are pretty much similar. Um, the start decks usually have certain cards that are only like uh, limited copies. So like, like in Digimon, there are certain cards that are only two copies included into the deck. If you really want to make it a competitive play deck, you will definitely have to end up buying two of the start decks itself. So first things first, let's pull out the play sheet and take a look at the design. Okay. Let's move the deck aside first. And here we have Jasmon on the front of the play sheet. I don't know, there's two sides. So which one's on the front, that's up for you to decide. So very, very cool. Uh, one of the main reasons why I said that Jasmon looks like uh, Omnimon is mainly because of the blades. The blades also have the same Digimon um, text on it. Um, same kind of text. I, I won't know if it's exactly the same thing because I don't read Digimon language, but yes, the design is pretty similar. Although Jasmon looks a lot cooler because he does have a scarf, um, you know, and it's flowing in the back. Then, of course, we have, of course, the iconic, um, I guess, the... I wouldn't call it champion, more like a rookie form Digimon um, that is well known for his line of evolution. So that's pretty nice. So let's move around. Let's have Jasmine sit here on the table and let's take a look at the cards within the deck itself. So as usual, Bandai packs these things very tightly. So just gotta be careful uh, if you don't want to damage any of your cards. So gotta pull it gently out. There we go. Okay, so first off, we have four copies of Gurimon, which is the Digitama for this deck. Very, very cute. As usual, Digitamas have white backings. So let's put this in the raising area because we don't need it anymore. And let's see, we have four copies of Ken, uh, Kendomon. So Kendo, 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 so Kendomon. Uh, it's a vanilla Digimon, so there's really not, not much to say except that it has a pretty low cost to summon out onto the battle area straight. And of course, 3000 DP. Now, of course, we have Sora, Soramon. So, it's uh, the gear Digimon, of course, but it's made of sun flares, I guess. <laughs> so, another vanilla, uh, it's not a vanilla Digimon, it actually has an effect. So, um, yeah, it works during both players' turn. So any players' turn, uh, I guess the cost or oh, okay. So yeah, I really have to go and check out the effects. But either way, uh, it seems like um, the summon cost. You cannot what either players' turn. You cannot reduce your 
summon cost. Oh, okay. So that's pretty cool. I guess there are some decks out there that actually make use of its abilities to uh, reduce the summon cost, maybe like the evolution cost or even the summon cost. So yeah, I guess this, this Digimon is here to, to block the, that effect. Alright, then we of course have four, co four rare copies of Hagumon, which is the main um, rookie Digimon for, you know, the Jessmon line. So that's pretty cool considering that they gave you four copies of this. Uh, so I guess you, if you buy two of the start decks, you end up having eight copies. You might want to consider selling it away or maybe you might have it for a secondary deck, that kind of stuff. So yeah, we have four copies of Maramon. So vanilla Digimon once again, but only having one cost for evolution. So that's pretty cool, although it's only 4,000 DP. Then of course we have two, four, four copies of Bao Hakmon. So that's pretty cool. So it, it doesn't have its own effect, um, but it does have a Digivolution effect. So that's pretty nice. Uh, so you always have to take note of how many effects there are on a Digimon before considering a use. Vanilla version of uh, Death Maramon. So Death Maramon, I guess. Um, so yeah, Vanilla Digimon, 9000 DP, 3 evolution cost, 6 cost for direct summon. Then of course we have another rare, ooh, 4 copies again, wow! So the whole Jasmine line, they're giving you 4 copies unlike the Ragnar Lord uh, start deck. This is definitely more focus on Jasmine itself, so that's pretty cool. So this fella has his own effect, plus it has Digivolution effect as well. Definitely need to check out what it does seems important if not it wouldn't be a rare all right then we have two copies of this uh volcamon volcamon uh, volcano so i guess so volcamon anyways uh and not too fanciful artwork it does look a bit hilarious because of its smile <laughs> then we have etemon in the top corner as well that's pretty funny um so yeah so I'm wondering why they only gave two copies of this. I think it's an uncommon though. Is it an uncommon? Yeah, it's a U, so it's an uncommon rarity. So yeah, if you need two more copies of this, you definitely have to buy another start deck of Jasmine. So Jasmine comes with a single copy? You gotta be kidding me. A single copy? So yeah, that's that's pretty strange. So I guess Okay, so I have to disturb my past self. <laughs> Apparently when I was sleeving up the deck, um, I noticed, like I told you guys, I thought there was only a single copy of the Jasmine within the deck itself. So apparently the second copy of the Jasmine was actually hiding behind the uh, Boru Kemon. So yeah, apparently there is two copies of the Jasmine within the deck itself. So yeah, so take note of that. I uh, apologize if I seem to be a bit astonished because yes, technically if if the start that only came with one single copy of the main promotional Digimon within the deck itself, it just felt very strange. So I'll return you guys to my past self and you know me making the mistake that there's only one just one within the start deck itself. I guess if you need a full play set of this, you're gonna have to buy four of it. That's really expensive oh my goodness okay so single copy this this bad boy definitely has to be very powerful if not why would they only give one single copy all right then of course we have uh gun gun kumon huh he does look like a bit of a bunch of uh, kind of design i guess so i guess hakmon does evolve into two different forms that's pretty cool i noticed that jessmon has a bit of a oh oh i was wondering why it felt thicker so apparently the <laughs> gun kumon was hiding another copy at the back so yeah one copy of jasmon and two copies of gun kumon interesting very strange balance of main characters so and here we have the pretty ladies that are talking about so we have sister mon uh bran and of course sister mon noel so apparently noel in english has her name changed. Uh, so in the English version of the Digimon card game, um, Sister Mon Noel is actually called Sister Mon Ciel. <laughs> so yeah, she she has my nickname. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, four copies each of the two ladies. And then we of course have four copies of the Aus, um, 
Ausgenerix. So, so it's a pretty important option card for this deck as well, considering that it's only one cost, uh, and it's a pretty useful um, effect as well. So I, I I can't remember the effect off the top of my head, but you know I remember it being pretty important. So that, it's nice that they gave four copies of it. Then of course we have. Um, common versions of this too. I guess if you need another two copies, another start deck is definitely going to be important. But of course, if you need four copies of the Jasmine, I don't know if you really need to play four copies of Jasmine. But you know, that, that is kind of harsh that they only gave one copy. Seriously, why? Why only one copy? <laughs> so yeah, um, I know that this card is pretty important as well, but it is kind of theme towards this entire deck only so it's hard to use this with a uh, deck outside of Jasmon so that's kind of a bummer but it is very crucial if you're playing a Jasmon deck so yeah all right so we've got some rare versions of the option card so I guess it has got a pretty hilarious name though Jishin Kaminari Kaji Oyaji <laughs> so of God Kaminari Huh Um Kaji Okay so I'm not too familiar with What Kaminari and Kaji means But um, But Oyaji definitely A lot of A lot of us will definitely know What Oyaji means basically The um, Old man basically <laughs> So it's a pretty cute card name um, But yeah Very very nice Two copies only So yeah if you need four copies Definitely another round of start deck is needed And of course we have the memory gauge I'm definitely going to use this one Compared to the one for Ragnar Lord Mon Because I, I actually prefer Jasmon's design Oh it's the other way around Oh no it's supposed to be this way <laughs> So yeah So yeah definitely going to use this set of Memory gauge cards if I ever need to I don't really have a cloth playmat with uh, custom designs because you can see the paper playmat actually comes with the memory gauge at the top so that's pretty cool so if you don't really have a playmat and maybe a, just a, a regular table um, you know these memory gauge cards will definitely come in use so as usual once again these three cards if you can't read Japanese toss them aside because they are pointless and last but not least don't forget they actually gave you a whole set of the uh, reprinted tamers so yeah so we have Daisuke TK Takeru then Ken uh, yeah then of course we have uh, Koshiro um, then of course Yamato and Taichi so yeah so guys if you definitely want a full set of this um, four copies each you're definitely gonna have to end up buying four of either the Ragnar Lord um, start decks or Jasmine start decks but considering that how many Jasmons are provided inside the start deck for Jasmon, um, I guess most of us will probably be ending up buying more Jasmon start decks than Ragnarok. Um, so yeah, guys, that really depends on up to you. But if you want a full copy, a full set for playing, definitely you will have to end up buying four start decks in total. So guys, that's it for today. As usual, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed looking at the contents of the uh, Jasmine start deck. What do you guys think of all the cards? Which are the cards that really, really um, appeal to you in terms of artwork and maybe effects? I haven't really gone through all the effects, but I know there are some of them that are pretty important, uh, especially if you're theming around Jasmine itself. And of course, last but not least, don't forget to hit subscribe because there's more Digimon card game contents coming in the near future. Until then, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!